So now if iTunes will not transfer your music into your iPhone, it means that either your iTunes needs to be updated or you need to register your iPhone onto your computer. So the way to do it is, as you can see, I'm going to be trying, I'm going to try to transfer my songs to my iPhone and it, nothing is happening. So basically what you want to do is you're going to click on this little icon right here on top under account and you're going to set up as a new iPhone. All right. This way you don't take all the other stuff from the other backups if anybody else has an iPhone on that computer. So you don't want to grab their stuff. So you're going to set it up as a new iPhone. You're going to click continue. And now it's going to be, it's going to basically sync your iPhone into your computer. So now once that's finished, it's basically going to sync it. Once that's finished, you're going to go back. Just click back over there. You click that back button. So as you can see now, I'm going to basically click on, I'm going to drag songs and then I'm going to drop it into my iPhone. And it's going to connect every single, it's going to, sorry, it's going to sync every single song that I have there. And then once that is done, you are good to go. And to update iTunes, you would simply click on the help button right here and just click for check for updates. It's as simple as that. And it will check for updates. Now a new version is available, so I will go ahead and download that just to keep my iTunes up to date. So, so if you, um, again, if you're having problems just to rule it out, I would recommend updating iTunes. It's always good to have updated applications anyway. So now you're going to have an, a menu like this that pops up and you're going to make sure there's a check mark by iTunes, put a check mark by there and just click on install one item. And then you would click on yes when it come, when it asks you that uh, confirmation and it would automatically download the updates and once that's done you would just click install and run through the installation menu. It's pretty simple. You just click next until that's done.